Alright guys. This quite possibly could be. Well, it's certainly one of the most spectacularly gorgeous. I do mean over the top beautiful day. <coughs> In the collapse of everything. I am just just completely in awe of how spectacularly gorgeous this planet can still be. Here is a Wednesday afternoon. It's 2.30. On a Wednesday afternoon, we just survived some emergency alert warning test here on Wednesday, October 4th. 2023 where it is 81 degrees 81 degrees in October we are sitting here looking at the spectacularly gorgeous scenery and fall leaves along the shores of Kuka Kayuka K-E-U-K-A Lake one of the Finger Lakes. We are outside of Pen Yan, New York on this unbelievably gorgeous day. We are getting out there and enjoying it while we still can. And uh, so if there's any lingering confusion, what enjoying it while you still can means uh, okay let's start uh, we start with enjoy or it uh, what you do first and you try to do this in the middle of a work week literally a hump day a, a Wednesday afternoon when the rest of the clueless morons are out there doing what people do to uh, you know to do boring things like pay their rent and mortgage and their groceries and stuff like this first you want to try to aim when the most clueless morons are likely to be uh, wasting their lives at work so Wednesday afternoon is a good time you want to, uh, you know, you want to look for spectacularly gorgeous weather. Uh, generally, <clears throat> October or April <coughs> might be a good time, but uh, <coughs> just spectacularly gorgeous weather it, it might help to look for some of this record heat uh, such as we're having today I'm pretty sure this is a record hot day in Penyan New York and then of course you want to look for spectacularly gorgeous scenery that always helps if you can put some good tunes on the radio uh, I highly suggest as part of getting out there and enjoying it while you still can you put some good tunes on your radio and if you cannot find another human out of 8 billion humans on the face of the planet if you fail to find one other human who wants to join you you can always find a little dog a little dog there's millions of these things in uh, in animal shelters all over this planet I got this little dog at a dog pound in St. Croix in the Virgin Islands and uh, Sancho Panza and I have taken many spectacularly gorgeous uh, spins around the planet so that's kind of the recipes for enjoyment 
Uh, okay, now the it, the double edged sword of it. Uh, obviously, uh, I would not be doing this without the perks of global industrial civilization. Without global industrial civilization, I would not have this planet-eating, gas-sucking truck. I would not have this truck at all, and without fossil fuels, I would not be able to, you know, fill up my tank uh, with this planet-killing uh, these planet killing fossil fuels to do this. I could not be doing what I am doing uh, with without fossil fuels. Now, I know there's some clueless morons who could say with a straight face that I could be doing this in an electric vehicle instead of a gas sucking vehicle and I could be out here without the guilt of uh, burning fossil fuels uh, we're not going to get into a clueless moron electric vehicle uh, rant uh, electric vehicles are every bit as dependent on global industrial civilization as <clears throat> gas sucking vehicles. Makes zero difference. Uh, you have got to have global industrial civilization in place and working for you right on down to the tunes coming out of the stereo without global industrial civilization there would be no tunes coming out of my stereo on this beautiful day there would be no road I would not have a road to be driving down I would not have this spectacularly gorgeous a uh, little scenic byway uh, available to me. Uh, this experience could not happen if I were not born into, you know, basically the greatest hundred years to be born in the history of humanity. I am taking full advantage of getting out there and enjoying a global industrial civilization while I still can. I, you know, with the full knowledge that this whole shit show could come crashing down tomorrow. I don't think so, uh, but you never know the future's uncertain and the end is always near and this is uh, why you need to get out there and enjoy every chance you get you need to get out there and enjoy being a part of this fantasy that humanity humanity's fantasy uh, th this is a tiny little window of opportunity a rapidly closing window of opportunity from this tiny little window in the history of our species that you are so blessed to be able to do something like this uh, so this is the it this is the global industrial civilization part of it that is called the shallow end of it the shallow end of it uh, and then of course the other it is uh, this planet every opportunity that you 
have to get out there and enjoy this this garden of Eden that we live on called planet Earth uh, every day it gets harder and harder to to do this on this planet every single passing day more and more of this planet is obliterated and destroyed as a direct consequence and byproduct of global industrial civilization. It is the very civilization that makes getting out there and enjoying uh, this planet is the very thing that is killing the planet and making it harder and harder to do this. Uh, every day, uh, global industrial civilization uh, destroys another opportunity to get out there and enjoy this planet. So, it, uh, you might as well get out there and enjoy it while you still can. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna lose this spectacularly gorgeous weather. I guess on Friday, uh, probably tomorrow, might be the last day we see temperatures above 75 degrees in upstate New York uh, till May, which is of course why. Uh, I am getting in my gas sucking truck uh, in three weeks and getting m my snowbird ass to Florida while I still can. While I am still able to take advantage of the fruits of global industrial civilization to get me the hell out of here before winter descends and get my ass down to Florida where hopefully I, I will be having plenty of days like this uh, in December, January, and February uh, while I can still get down there and enjoy the state of Florida while I still can. Uh, you know, so many people, they've either never been to Florida or they go to Florida and never get off the clueless moron tourist hamster wheel down there. Florida, to this day, uh, remains one of the most spectacularly gorgeous states of the 50 states. One of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. Uh, the state of Florida. but. Like everywhere else, uh, it is getting harder and harder and harder to find, uh, you know, the, the old Florida that has not been absolutely uh, raped and pillaged and destroyed by global industrial civilization. <coughs> so... Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, while I'm riding around here uh, on this spectacularly gorgeous day, I, I'm, I'm wondering how many doomers, how many doomers in upstate New York right now today are doom scrolling, are sitting inside uh, their little whatever a little prison that they have built for themselves and are sitting in front of some box doom scrolling uh, you know looking at all the ways that we are doomed as if they need 10,000 other ways to you know to hear 
how doomed we are trying to figure out when we're doomed. And as they're sitting there doom scrolling, uh, they could be uh, getting in their gas sucking car or truck and, and getting out uh, here on this unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day getting out there and enjoying it while they still can now this woman here uh, she could certainly uh, hop in the truck with me and uh, be enjoying this beautiful day but she looks like she's doing just fine jogging along the banks of paradise uh, in Puka Lake, New York. I have never been here in my entire life. And while I was on that shore, it was the first time in my life a few weeks ago, I was up here with a fellow Doomer and we found ourselves on the far bank and I was seeing this road over here, this back road. And uh, I was telling my buddy, I will be back in October when the leaves are peeking. And uh, this is, <laughs> oh, one of those days. All right. So I am coming into Pen Yan, New York, baby. And I am going to try to find me a good meal. Hopefully uh, an Asian meal where I can go have some, uh, some palm oil. A uh, big bowl of palm oil. While I still can get out there and enjoy uh, finding a big bowl of palm oil while you still can. Bye guys.